So I just want to make a really quick video about how I repaired the front rock guard on our 2002 Coachman travel trailer. I had looked around for a lot of videos on how to do this and pretty much the only things that were out there were people rebuilding them um, out of fiberglass, making new ones out of different types of material. And so this is just about how to rebuild the one that you already have with a product that's available at the nearest home improvement store. So this was our original rock guard on our 2002 Coachman. And as you can see, it's kind of beat up. We'd actually had a couple of areas where while we were driving down the road, this thing let loose and it started flapping, uh, started bending the frame a bunch on the, um, on the actual rock guard. And so it's also yellowing and the fiberglass is starting to show through. So it's time to upgrade this. Definitely was making the trailer look older than it actually is. So, so obviously this front panel I've already taken out. I wasn't sure if this was actually gonna work or not. And so I did the whole project before uh, documenting it. Um, so this is what was in there. Basically, you're gonna come over here this is the frame that it's sitting in. This is the back that faces the window. And then this is the front that faces your vehicle. So you can see it ended up looking really good. How you're gonna get this apart is you're just gonna take, there's two rivets here. Yours may be different, but there's a plate over there. I didn't mess with that one because I wanted to keep it as much intact as possible. So I just drilled out these two rivets. And then once you get that apart, this seam will open up and it'll allow you to pop out the old one and then start um, getting set up to cut out the new one. You'll also need to take out both of these little strut bars that they have. It's just a small, small screw in each one of them. So you're gonna pull those off and then you're gonna drill out two of these rivets so that this opens up and gives you a little bit of wiggle room to get the new one in. So once you've gotten your old one out, you're gonna to go to the hardware store and you're gonna pick up some, this is shower wall. Um, this is a four by eight sheet. And let's see if we can get you a part number. There you go, glass liner. And that's the part number 7885-944-90185. This is the shower stall uh, material that they use for, you know, shower stalls that they put up really quick. This is actually the backside, the side that's facing outside of the trailer. Or facing your car is going to be the smooth side. On this side is the um, typical shower wall material. So that I have facing towards the window because I'm going to put a new decal on top and I wanted it nice and smooth. So what I ended up doing is you just lay this out, take a permanent marker, go around the outside, mark it on top of the shower wall. And then I just took my handy dandy Bauer cutoff wheel tool and uh, cut that line out and cuts through it like butter. And then you'll just lay the new uh, shower wall facing outside with the smooth side facing outside. And then before you do anything else, you're going to take and put a new rivet, two new rivets in this side so that tightens everything up. Try and get it centered left to right and up to down. And then you're going to take some of this, uh, I don't even know what it's called. This is for uh, window screens or screen doors. And it's, um, I don't know. It's that stuff that you shove in there to keep everything tight. And so then you'll put this in there, start shoving it in all the way around. And then I actually took and put some adhesive caulking underneath this strut so that it actually sticks to the panel. And then I'm just waiting for the new sticker. We'll be able to stick that on on the outside and then put it back on the trailer. So there you have it. Put it all back together. It's much more rigid than it was with that old one. Um, definitely feels like it's gonna stand up. You know, I don't know what this material, if, if this material is designed for UV rays and whatnot, so I'm gonna have to kind of wait and see. 
um, whether or not it stands up to the elements. But like I said, I've got a new sticker, the new Coachman sticker that I ordered on Etsy on the way. I'm going to put that in there and put it back on the trailer. We're good to go. So there you go. Got the Coachman sign on Etsy. Looks pretty good. Got a few bubbles in it, but... Didn't come out too bad.